Oh, about the leash. 10 p.m. and I... The taxes took me all day. Start using it again. back to my channel Just having acne to now wearing a huge patch to cover it so that's cool and i'm not gonna wear makeup and i just got done crying in therapy so we're kicking off the week really strong um i thought i would just sit down and start off a week in my life today i'm working on my goals and then i also need to finish my laundry fold my laundry and go to Costco. I'm doing a little reset. So I've just been feeling like I haven't really been hitting my fitness goals as well as I was last year. And I had a rocky start to the year. So, you know, that's okay. We're gonna ebb and flow. We're just gonna keep going. That's the main, um, main thing is just to not get too hung up on these little bumps and just keep going. So I'm still doing laundry. <laughs> my face just looks like a permanent frown because of this acne scarring cool and then I'm just treating this situation that I really messed up the other day I've been using I got these I'm using the larger one to cover this area because it just is like that type of acne that just like doesn't dry up. It's just like oily. So I use these little things. What I should have done is just left it alone. Concealer. Cause I need to go run some errands. Okay, let's go. We're going to Costco and we're going to Trader Joe's. So. into Costco like I got out to my car and I went back in and they were having this sale on an air fryer which Jordan and I have been talking about getting an air fryer for like a really long time now and I just thought like why not grab it so I'm excited to try that out and then I also picked up these apple trees and I run over to Trader Joe's and there's just a few things I wanted to get from Trader Joe's. I'm feeling a little bit better this afternoon, even though it's raining. Um, I kind of had a rocky start this morning to my day. Let's go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> so I'm just gonna head home. I got myself a little snack. I feel like I'm always really grumpy when I'm filming. So I'm gonna try to be less grumpy. I don't know why, but sometimes it's just like being out and about, I just get really, I don't know, annoyed. But let's, let's go home. with my dog are some of the most peaceful relaxing moments in my day and I just need to prioritize this more I feel like sometimes I'm just like I get busy I feel like I can't get time to get outside and like obviously Finley needs time outside I make excuses like oh it's raining or like 
It's too cold. This morning we did a little bit of a run. We did 1.5 miles. Um, what was I saying? Oh, about the leash. I really like the color pink, so that's why his leash is pink. He's colorblind. He doesn't know either way. Yeah, that's our that's our Tuesday morning so far. This is how my closet always ends up. It's like a big pile of clothes in this laundry hamper, big pile of clothes in this laundry hamper, some random thing I ordered months ago. I just want an organized closet. So maybe if I... So I think I got everything organized. All of the laundry is folded and put away. I just have one more load in the wash but here are i just like to have my workout clothes hung up as like sets that i love so um they're just easy to access first thing in the morning it's like i come in and i just like grab one i have like white t-shirts to tan this is my all-time favorite white t-shirt i wear this on a weekly basis. I got this at a thrift store in uh, Tri-Cities when we were visiting some friends, but but the way that the collar comes up, I don't know. Something about this t-shirt is so comfortable. I wear it under like almost everything. Like if I have a sweatshirt on, I throw this on underneath and it's just so soft and cozy. And I like to kind of color coordinate the, um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like it's not super well thought out but yeah white t-shirts blues blacks um then I don't wear like a ton of bright colors if I do wear color it's usually like pink or red I do have a couple like yellow things <laughs> that I rarely wear but I'm very much like a pink and red um person when it comes to wearing colorful I have a couple things that are like green or blue and then I am manifesting warmer weather. So I got all of my summer shorts out um, and went ahead and folded them and put them on the shelf. And um, those up there are just like storage. So like I had shorts in those totes and then I just switched out some like sweaters. That one's actually empty. It's just this one. That one has um, just like sweatshirts that I want to keep, but don't wear that much but don't want to get rid of um and then I just folded some of my favorite sweatshirts that I've been wearing lately here just some overalls cargo pants a couple skirts I don't wear a ton of skirts I actually just picked this up from H&M um as like a little <laughs> a little treat for myself rhinestone covered set and I am so excited to wear this um to where I will wear it do not know probably just into my office and probably shoot some like I'm actually I think I mentioned I'm taking a photography class and some of the projects on there um you can like make your own projects which I want to do but a lot of the projects also focus around portraits and shooting like fashion style photography so I thought it would be really fun to set up a shoot for myself and shoot some I don't know, self-portraits in this like rhinestone. I don't know. It sounds fun and creative. Um, so I'm going to do that. Why not? These are just like button ups that I got from the Goodwill. I'm obsessed with going to the Goodwill men's section. And I always, when I find good button up, like this one's Ralph Lauren. When I find like a good oversized button up, like good quality, I will pick it up. They're usually only like five to ten dollars yeah and then i have my jeans but i just got this curtain rod and some s hooks and i just keep all of my jeans hung up like this it's it's the best because i can see like the label i know what jeans they are um also i just actually picked up these cargo pants from target and they're pastel pink and recently bought this shirt i'll pop it into the side here um from an artist i love and i got it in pink that would actually be really cute to wear that shirt with these pink cargo pants and then i have all of my hats hung up here and then i grabbed this out of the back of my closet because i used to use this to go back and forth from the office like pre-pan i love it because it has like some of my favorite 
pens on here and um i think i'm gonna start just like taking myself to a little coffee shop and working on my computer from somewhere so um, i'm gonna start using it again it's it's cute section i just have like some necklaces hanging here my snoopy <laughs> um sunglasses sunglasses that have more clear frames and then just like uh blue light glasses now i feel just like very organized. I can see everything. Spring is coming. The shorts are out. And yeah, I think my closet looks fantastic now. I really want to unbox the headboard and like get the bed set up. But I also think I might wait to do that another day. So here's the bed and I just need to unbox it and like figure it all out. I actually bought a bed that I'm not using any of the insides of. It's just, I'm using the frame and the headboard. I grabbed this from Costco yesterday and I'm excited because we have been talking about getting an air fryer for probably two years now. And now we have one and we're gonna start using it. So I'm gonna go unbox this in the kitchen and I'll bring you along with me. I just heard like the loudest thunder and then look at that makes me glad that I went on my run this morning that's crazy so it's a little later in the evening and I've been making these TikTok videos because I want to learn more about UGC. So I've been practicing to see if I want to do that maybe. Good morning. Starting off the vlog. Finn and I are going to go on a run. I love this cup because it's small and it's easy to take with me. Coffee. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed the, um, the final... Feeling just like not awake yet, but I'm gonna grab my puffy coat. Finn and I are gonna go for a walk. He's, it's not raining today, but it is 38 degrees. So we had to bring in the, the big guns cause it's gonna be cold. We gotta find your collars. Do you know where your collars are at? This is Finley's good boy collar, and we don't use it to shock him, but it does make this little, it makes a little beep noise, and Finley is not a fan of the beep noise. He doesn't have a good recall, his name, like he, he sometimes will come back to a whistle, but if he's like found something that smells a certain way, he will not hear anything else that's going on. So this little beep, kind of snaps him out of that and um, he'll listen after. Sit. Good boy. Okay, put this one on. There we go, good boy. Good boy. You know what this all means. I know, you know. So see how he's being kind of wild and he's not listening. He's just really excited. If I just show him this, Finley, hey. See, like he does, he hates the beep. All I have to do is show it to him and he kind of becomes a good boy. So often I don't even have to like use the beep and he'll listen. Let's go. I also love this coat because it has these giant pockets and I can just kind of tuck my coffee in right there. And then we say good morning to the bunnies. You're so cute, Momos. Hi. Finn and I are back from our little walk. I haven't actually worked on anything for my creative business that I want to start yet. I had a friend reach out um, and ask me if I wanted to work on a branding project and I thought it would be really fun, but I'm also just so burnt out from Amazon that I really want to just like take a moment. It's been about a month. So I just really wanna take a moment and just like chill. 
yeah, I'm just gonna take a moment and then I will kind of explore what I wanna do. I think that's gonna be the best like move forward so that I'm not just like jumping right back into projects and just like go, go, go. Um, and luckily we have, I have the privilege right now of just kind of taking my time. So it's not like a, like obviously I wanna make money, but it's not like a, I'm not feeling too much pressure. I feel pressure, but just not as much pressure as if like we didn't have an income. Jordan's obviously working, which I'm very grateful for. I'm just gonna set you here. I'm gonna go get my computer and I'm just gonna set up shop right here and clickety clack away. Hopefully we don't owe too much to the government. Cool. Hi, my taxes. My taxes took me all day. The taxes took me all day. Okay, so I'm making dinner now. So I didn't get to any of the other things that I wanted to do. I just did taxes. It's fine. I, I just paid what was due and it's done. I'm making dinner. Bell peppers from Costco. They look done. So, um, so this is sparkling water from Trader Joe's. It's black cherry vanilla, and it's so yummy. I just love a fizzy sparkling water. I love these um, dark sweet cherries from Costco. They're just frozen. Yum. I think that I'm just gonna call it a night and um, check back in tomorrow and share what I'm doing. It'll probably be the bed project. Actually, I just decided to go ahead and do the bed project that evening and um, took me all night, so. Just for some clarification to anybody out there who is going to be like, why isn't Jordan helping you? I specifically asked him not to build this for me so that I could do it for vlog footage. <laughs> because last week when I was helping my friend out um, and I was staying over there with her in West Seattle, he was like, do you want me to build the bed while you're gone? So when you get back, it's just like done and ready. And I said, no. Do not build the bed. I want to build it for my vlog. <laughs> and um, that's why he's not helping me because I specifically asked him not to. One of my goals this year, I'm strategically trying not to show my face, but one of my goals this year was to finish the house you know when you move somewhere and there's like never, like you've never figured out like where things go and like you, we haven't had a headboard for our bed since we moved in in 2021 and it is now 2024 and like we've always had that one room that's kind of like the place where you just like stuff stuff. Um, I want it all figured out. I want everything organized. bed frame was too tall so I had to just remove one of the like feet that screw on to the bottom of the bed to just adjust it to the right height but I think it turned out really well like I really like the way that it covers the base of the bed and the headboard looks really good the only thing that's kind of weird is that this part where it connects there's pre-drilled holes here 
I might just get little brackets that connect these two pieces. Um, that way it just like looks nice. And I had to add the mattresses back on and putting sheets on these mattresses is just kind of really difficult, but I managed. So I got the beds put back together and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, I'm starting off the vlog in the car and we're gonna go thrifting in Issaquah. And it's a beautiful sunny day, so we wanna get back pretty quickly. and I also got those I stand or whatever I just thought it was like a cute like sphere like a little box um, just to set on a table like a coffee table or something with matches in it because well it's actually really cute it's just little strawberries um I was planning on just taking the charms off of it and so I may or may not take this apart. Shell dishes that I thought were super cute. They have these like gold bows on the top that I just thought was really sweet. I also think that this would make a really cool like photo prop and I really wanna get into um, product photography. A lot is Thursday so far. I think I'm gonna start incorporating like a thrift Thursday every other week. Um, and just give myself like a budget of like 20 bucks. Spent like $30 today. So um, yeah, maybe I'll just give myself a budget for every other week to go on a thrift Thursday and see what I can find. Maybe I'll resell it or maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. I just love thrifting, so. Having a good day, Finn? Can you go look at the water? Heel. Good boy. Looking pretty cute. No, 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 we're not playing. No. <laughs> no. Costco all along the trail. Yeah, they were selling them for like you good. Love to give. Won't you show me that you Everybody's somebody. Orient this thing right. Okay. Jordan planted a tree. <laughs> Jordan apple seed. <laughs> Popcorn, already got it going. See, popcorn. And we're gonna watch a show and I think just kind of call it a night and just kind of chill 
I'm really, um, I'm tired. We didn't really do that much, but I'm tired. So I kind of just want to relax. Finn's going to hang out and yeah, call it, call it a night. I will admit that the chairs that I got to put in the um, movie room were actually very comfortable. They're not cute. They're, they're not that bad. Friday. Oh, we're getting a new, we think we're going to get a new washer and dryer tomorrow. Our washer and dryer has been broken since December. It like doesn't, um, it doesn't cycle through like a full cycle. Like when you wash it stops and you have to go in there and like restart it. And it says an error and somebody came out to look at it, but, um, he said that they weren't really, that the washer and dryer weren't really worth fixing and um, that it was gonna cost like $800 to fix the washer or something. The dryer has something wrong inside where it like, it, it like clicks every time it goes around. So it's just really loud and it's obnoxious. So we're supposed to get a new washer and dryer tomorrow. It's been since December that we've been kind of asking for some help with this and we've kind of got the run around. <laughs> so, um, hopefully they show up with the washer and dryer and we can actually like do our laundry like normal um and yeah that would that will be that will be great it is what it is i like living here and we don't really have very many issues that pop up so once this is taken care of hopefully we don't have any more appliances go out because God forbid the water heater goes out and we're with cold water for like four months or something. Whatever. Okay. Let's go watch a movie. I think we're gonna watch this um, Hell Camp documentary. Okay, this is my everything yogurt. Lots of peanut butter. You have to put the blueberries on before the honey because the honey like kind of freezes on the blueberries. Jordan's dad made this honey. Uh, Jordan, when did your dad make this honey? Bees made the honey. Okay, bees. My dad is incapable of <laughs> Your dad's... It was a couple of years ago. It was a couple of years ago. It's so good. Mm. But I'm gonna put these chocolate covered strawberries that I got from Trader Joe's on it. Wait, look at how little we were. Aww. They're behind all these cords. Cute. Okay. Sorry if this was a jump scare. Um, I got these fake bangs on Amazon because I was like, I've been wanting to cut my bangs. And so I got them just to see what I would look like. And, you know, instead of like actually cutting my bangs because that could be a disaster. So I don't know. The color is not quite right but thought I would test them out for the day and see if I like having hair on my forehead like this okay so I got these cute little glasses yesterday that I think look like a tulip and I was gonna put this little Starbucks acai ready to drink so that maybe it would look like a cute little tulip beverage I don't know maybe that's silly but let's try it anyways That just brings me so much joy. <laughs> I don't know if the pink is picking up on camera. It might just look like milk. A strawberry milk in this would be actually really cute too, but that's when we go edit today. Do we like the bangs? Are we? I feel like I would hate them on most days, but. Okay, it's Friday. 
afternoon. I'm going to test out the bangs. See if I'm annoyed by having them in my face while I'm running. Here's the new washer and dryer. Looking good. Very happy about that. Very happy about that. Let's go run. Okay. That was a pretty good run. I'm definitely overheated and I don't know how the bangs are holding up. I did 1.75 miles. I thought I was going to do two, but Finn and I just sprinted this long stretch here. So I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to jog for a little bit. And then when Jordan meets up with us, we'll just walk, I think. I love there. Watch out. <laughs> Can we throw it for you? Get it. Get that stick. Thanks for watching. Bye.